Hi and welcome to Select 10. We can all agree that, despite the fact that we have watched a lot of Netflix series, there are still a huge amount of titles in the Netflix catalog that we are unaware of. But don't worry, today you will find a few of new series to watch. In this video, we'll list our top 10 picks for the best Netflix web series. These shows are outstanding, but unfortunately did not get the recognition they deserved. Now let's start the video. Number 10. Shooter. It is an action drama series, based on the 2007 film of the same name, and the 1993 novel Point of Impact, by Stephen Hunter. The plot revolves around Bob Lee Swagger, a skilled marine sniper, who quits the Navy SEALs after a mission goes tragically wrong, and vanishes without a trace. However, Swagger is forced to return to service after a higher-ranking government minister and Swagger's previous superior officer, Isaac Johnson, urge him to assist in dodging a plan against the President of the United States. Swagger agrees to assist but quickly learns he has been deceived and finds himself at the center of a massive manhunt. The storyline becomes extremely intense when Swagger realizes that he has been falsely accused and must take all necessary measures to defend his family and prove his innocence. Overall, the story is excellent, and the series is full of thrilling action sequences that keeps you on the edge of your seat. If you love the Jack Ryan and Reacher series, you'll enjoy this one. The series has a 7.5 rating on IMDb. Number 9. Mortal. It is a French supernatural series, created by Frederick Garcia. The story follows two teens, Sophie Anne and Victor, who agree to a deal with the voodoo demon, Obe, in order to investigate and exact revenge on the person who killed Sophie Anne's brother, Rita. Obe grants Sophie Anne the ability to control other people's behavior, while Victor has the ability to read their minds. However, for their powers to function, both must be present close to one another. Unfortunately things go horribly wrong for them when they recruit the help of Louisa, who practices voodoo with her grandmother, in order to break free from Obe's control over them and ban Obe from the earth. Overall, the show is extremely addictive and has a gripping storyline that will keep you entertained from the beginning. It is a hidden gem on Netflix and a must-see for Supernatural fans. The show has a 6.4 rating on IMDb. Number 8. The Innocents. It is a British supernatural fantasy series, created by Hania Elkington and Simon Durek. The plot centers on Harry and June, who leave their controlling families to be together. However, their plans are sidetracked when they learn that June has the ability to change her shape. As the couple struggles to handle this weird new power, an unknown professor appears and claims that June is not the only one, there are other shifters like her. He also makes a commitment to heal June and bring her back to her mother, who abandoned her three years prior. But as their adventure grows increasingly dangerous, Harry and June's love for each other is put to the test, and they are forced to make a choice, keep their beautiful hope alive, or accept that their lives have changed and sacrifice everything. This is not your typical supernatural show, rather, you might say it's a unique strange fantasy show that is definitely worth watching. The only disappointing part is that it only has one season. And the series has a 6.2 rating on IMDb. Number 7. Invisible City. It is a Brazilian fantasy series created by Carlos Saldanha. The plot centers on Eric, an environmental police investigator who unearths a secret realm of mythical creatures from Brazilian mythology while looking for a link between the death of his wife and the puzzling discovery of a dead Pink River dolphin on a Rio de Janeiro beach as he investigates inexplicable deaths that match those of his own wife, Gabriella, he is pulled into a world of mystical creatures. However, his search takes an unexpected turn when he discovers a surprising fact about his true identity that puts him at the center of a battle between these two worlds. How many of you have heard of this show? I'm guessing few, but if you haven't seen it yet, I highly recommend adding it to your watchlist, you won't be disappointed. If you enjoy mythology and folklore stories, you will enjoy this show. And the show has a 7.2 rating on IMDb. Number 6. Postmortem, No One Dies in Skarns. It is a Norwegian fantasy series, directed by Harold Zwart. The story follows, Live Halangen, who has been pronounced dead, but unexpectedly awakens on the forensics table, with a lust for blood. In the meantime, her brother Odd struggles to keep the parents' funeral parlor functioning in the small Norwegian town of Skarns, because not a lot of people are dying. On the other hand, Liv's bloodlust is growing, and she soon comes to the conclusion that her newfound desire can really save her brother's problem. 
I assume you understand what it means. She must now learn to manage her darker side and determine whether or not she is ready to put other people's lives in danger to keep the family business running. I'm impressed by how great these Norwegian shows are, consider Ragnarok or this one, both are outstanding. And the series has a 7.1 rating on IMDb. Number 5. Greenhouse Academy. It is a teen drama series, created by Jorich Amizer. Almost eight months after their astronaut mother is killed in a rocket explosion, Alex and Haley Woods enroll in an exclusive boarding school for talented future leaders. Separately, they enrolled in two competing houses of the school and developed a rivalry. However, soon after, unexplained phenomena push the students from both houses to initiate top-secret research, which leads them to discover a deadly conspiracy to profit from earthquakes. They can only halt this horrible plan by coming together and cooperating. Along with this, the show also explores teenage sibling rivalry, romance, and a mystery involving their mother's sudden death. If you want to watch an amazing and addictive teen drama with a good mix of romance and great mystery, then think no more and watch this, it's a brilliant show. And the series has a 6.6 .6 rating on IMDb. Number 4. Green Frontier. It is a Colombian crime thriller miniseries created by Diego Ramirez Shrimp. The series tells the story of a female detective and her colleague as they explore the depths of the Amazon on the border of Brazil and Colombia in order to look into a string of strange killings. But they quickly come to understand that the jungle has more mystery than just murders. They learn about magic, a sinister conspiracy, their true identities, and a hidden indigenous tribe with a magnificent secret that they will go to great lengths to keep undiscovered. Overall, the series is fantastic and has a gripping storyline, there are old tribes, bizarre murder mysteries, and the beauty of the Amazon rainforest all included in this crime thriller. Do not miss this one. The series has a 7.2 rating on IMDb. Number 3. Medici. It is a historical drama series created by Frank Spotnitz and Nicholas Meyer. The series covers the Medici family, bankers of the Pope, during Renaissance Florence. Each season explores the political and artistic environment of Renaissance Italy as it follows the events of a specific period in the Medici family history. The first season, Medici, Masters of Florence, is set in 1429, the year Giovanni de' Medici, the family's head passed away. And Cosimo de' Medici, who replaces him as head of the family bank, struggles to maintain his position of authority in Florence. However, Cosimo is hiding a grave secret, Giovanni was murdered, and now Cosimo and his brother must find his murderer in order to defend the family's influence and money. The show is excellent and a delight for fans of historical dramas. If you want to see a political storyline on the level of Game of Thrones, then watch Medici, you won't regret it. It is a must-watch series on Netflix. And the series has a 7.9 rating on IMDb. Number 2. To the Lake. It is an post-apocalyptic action thriller series based on Vanga Zero, a novel by Yana Vanner. The story begins when the people of Moscow become infected with an unknown lethal disease. The primary symptoms of which are coughing and eye discoloration, and death happens three to four days later. As the illness spreads, Moscow transforms into a city of the dead, losing all power and its value, while chaos and violence are everywhere, and those who have not yet been infected are anxiously struggling for food and fuel. The main plot revolves around Sergi, who, along with his new girlfriend, her autistic kid, his own son, his ex-wife, his father, and a nearby family, sets off on a long difficult journey north to find a remote cottage on an uninhabited island to shelter from the risk of infection. If you think it's just another zombie apocalypse show, you're mistaken. It is unique, and the way this show explores a family's survival is quite extraordinary. The show has stunning visuals and unexpected twists that keeps you interested. And the series has a 7.2 rating on IMDb. Number 1. Tribes of Europa. It is a sci-fi action series created by Philip Koch. The series is set in 2074 and focuses on three siblings who attempt to alter the course of events in Europe after a catastrophic event splits the continent into a number of competing tribal microstates that compete for supremacy over one another. However, the siblings become involved in the ongoing war when they acquire a mysterious crystal. Unfortunately, this series did not receive the attention it deserved, but as a sci-fi fan, I can tell you that it is one of the best sci-fi series that takes us into an entirely new epic world, full of mysteries, modern technology, and terrific action. 
Since there are just 6 episodes in the series, you can watch them all in one sitting. And the series has a 6.7 rating on IMDb. That's it for today, thank you for watching this video. And do subscribe our channel to see more videos related to movies and series suggestions.